Hello everyone, this is Dial 20 and welcome to episode 12 of Dial 20's Modern Skyblock 3 series. Today, I'm making a watering can. The simplest watering can that I'm going to fill up with water. Woot. The simplest watering can. Hooray! Mm, partially because it's a quest and partially because I want sugar cane. That's a thing that I would like right now. I was poking around at some of the recipes and projects and stuff that we have going on. Uh, but simplest watering can, totally a quest that I just completed. Hooray. And we can get morbs, more morbs. Cause uh, that's like a quest reward we've gotten about a dozen times now. Well, I can tell you exactly how many times we got it. All right, five. But still, it feels like a lot. It feels like a lot more than five. <gasps> Sugar cane's growing. Uh, so you can see, uh, I think, Right at the end of last episode here, we, we planted a bunch of snad down. Uh, I decided to get a watering can to help with the growth of sugarcane. That should uh, present me with lots and lots of good resources, and I'm excited about having it. Yay, sugarcane, grow. Do your thing, please. This is the part where you grow, because I'm watering you with a watering can. Yay. Sweet. So I'm just going to kind of down the line this thing. Now this only waters in like a 3x3 three three area, so I'm really only going to be able to water three of these sugar cane at a time. But that's okay. It should be good still. Getting a little bit of water uh, sugar cane going here. And then uh, the other thing I've been doing uh, between episodes is basically just farming living wood and living rock. And uh, replanting. And you can see I've been filling up my mana pool. We've got a decent amount of mana in there, to be fair. Um, not a not a huge amount, but decent. Pretty excited to have some Batania up and running. Nice. Loving it. Ordering can, all the things. Cool. Might even be getting a little bit of cactus growth over there as a as, as a help from my watering can. Uh, not not the fastest watering can that's available to us. Uh, I think there's like better ones coming up, but I'm pretty sure that they're restricted at the moment. So I wouldn't count on on getting them anytime soon. Uh, and then luckily there's a water source right here that I can refill from. So today I'd like to, if possible, automate the mob farm, at least somewhat. Um, it, it may require a little bit of work. I'm ready. I think we can do it. Uh, all we really need to do is get some vector plates and, uh, and wind up pushing the mobs into spikes of some, some description. Um, so we've got some options for spikes that I think we're going to have to like review here, right? So if we take a look, that's enough sugarcane for now. Woot. Uh, in the book, we should see that we completed the wooden spikes quest. Stone spikes is the next quest. Um, let's look at spikes in JEI here and see what our options are. So, uh, wooden spikes reduce mobs to half a heart of health and doesn't kill them. So that's cool if you want to run over there and kill them yourself and collect the experience. Um, and the mob drops manually. I'd really like to fully automate this if possible. So the next one we can look at is stone spikes. Um, these things I think will kill the creatures, but not do anything special. Uh, iron spikes will kill them, I want to say, just a little bit faster. And uh, considering we're in a position to not have a ton of iron right now, I'm going to hold off on making those. Uh, golden spikes force mobs to drop experience, but obviously we need a ton of gold for that. Uh, and diamond spikes uh, allows the mobs to drop player kill only items. So certain items can only be killed or, or can only be dropped if a player actually does the killing instead of the mob dying on its own somehow. Uh, and, and by having diamond spikes, it uh, helps to make that a, a reality. Now, why are you guys so bad about spawning in there? And what? Why is there a, oh, it's a chicken with a zombie villager on it. Okie dokie, and it's like a yellowish chicken. What's up with that? I'm, I'm not going to question it. Um, little fewer mobs than I would have expected to see in there, having not cleared out that area very recently. But, uh... Hey, buddy. Cool. I'll take a I'll take an uncommon loot bag. Alright. Not the most exciting of drops, but I'll take it. Uh, so let's see. Let's start with... Let's make stone spikes, right? So that shouldn't be too hard to make. Let's, yeah, let's start with these, right? So what I'm gonna do, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that this is gonna need compressed cobble. And that might be enough to get me eight stone spikes. Cool. 
Hey now, behave yourself, would you? Thanks. That should be good. Uh, so that completes the quest, <clears throat> which will be cool. Gets me fertile potion. Causes plants to grow. I have a lot of things that cause plants to grow. I'm not, I'm not sure how excited I'm supposed to be about that, but it's a thing that I have a lot of. Uh, you're cooking up more of this stuff. You're actually almost done. I'm gonna get two more stacks. Because I would totally like, I'm just gonna that and that, and that'll be cool. I'm just cooking as much smooth stone as I can because I do, I am gonna need to like hit that stuff with and get gems more at some point soon. Uh, but next step, let's do vector plates. So we're gonna want some sugar and uh, we're probably gonna want a little bit more sugar than we already have, but not much. I don't know exactly how much we're gonna want, but hopefully this will be enough. So vector plates, awesome things. Those of you who have uh, seen modded Minecraft recently are probably familiar with them because they are commonly used in lots of different locations. So we're gonna want some smooth stone, we're gonna want some slime balls, and we're gonna want some sugar, and we're gonna want some iron, which might or might not be in here, probably over here. Yay, look at all that iron, mm, beautiful. I've been doing a lot with this alchemy stuff lately, but we will definitely be doing more with it soon. Uh, so this should allow me to make a good healthy number of vector plates, right? I'm going to start with 40 and we'll see how much we realistically need, but I'll bring the resources to make more with me. Playing with vectors! That's a quest that we just completed. Sweet. All right. Uh, so... And we got morbs again! Wow, those are commonly dropped. Uh, that's terrible. So, automation time, my friends. Let's try and kill a bunch of mobs in here. That works for me. That's a good way to kill lots of things. Yeah, blow everything up for me, would you, creepers? That's helpful. I'm, I'm not even being, like, jokingly. I'm serious. That does help. Alright, let's put away... Oh, I don't have stuff over here. Let's get... some chests. You can sit there for a minute. Uh, Cause we're totally gonna wanna store some things for the time being. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do this, but let's just put all my mob drop stuff away for a minute. Uh, so anything else that's considered a mob drop in here? I think I got it all for the most part. I'll get all that stuff in a minute too. This way I can access it from inside, right? And that works pretty well. So long story short, what we're going to want to do is twofold, right? Um, we're going to want to have spikes that damage mobs. And I guess three tall would be good. Uh, I don't know if we need more than that. We can, we can try having more than that. Uh, but then we're going to want... Um, basically... Something like that, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna place this last because things always get stuck there, and that's usually troublesome. I always have a little trouble building these things. Cool, and then we're gonna want a hopper. And we're going to want to test this with items a little bit. But the hopper is what's going to collect. Now, luckily, um, these things will allow hopping of items. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so we're going to want a hopper that goes into a chest of some description. For the time being, we'll probably change this up a little bit. Now, chests are not light transparent. Uh, or, or they are light trip. They're, they're not blocking of light, right? So uh, one of the problems we're gonna run into pretty quickly is the fact that because of the way we have this built right now, light, I believe, is allowed in here, yes? Even if this is covered up, see how there's light over here and there's not light over here? That's telling me, bad. Uh, so we wanna fix. So let's get out of here and we're gonna cover you up such that it's dark in there. 
cool. And then we want to get this covered. So basically, I think if I did this, do I have any? I don't. Just for the purposes of making things look nice. That should darken up the whole room, right? And that looks pretty good to me. So unfortunately, we kind of have to block this off in like a baddish way. Um, what if instead, what if this was a slab out of curiosity? I want to kind of make this functional and nice looking. So that's good. Now, if I put a double chest under there, would I be able to open the chest underneath the slab? Right? So what if we put a chest here and a chest here? Nope, wrong spots. Right? A uh, chest here and here and here. So that's dark and I can open the chest. See how that looks? That's actually not terrible. That's not bad at all. Um, and you are necessary, right? Yeah, you totally are. That's not bad at all, right? I can open the chest and the room's dark. So I like that. So let's uh, add our vector plate here. Whoops, that's okay, it's just some wood. If it falls, it falls. Make sure all the vectors are doing their vectorly things. Uh, and let's test a little bit by throwing mob drops in there. So what should happen is that should get dropped into the chest, right? Any items that are inside this area should get pushed and dropped into the thing. Nice, I like that. Cool, we might need one more set of vector plates. So let's get one more set. Oh, I'm missing sugar, 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 sugar. Am I really out of sugar? No way I'm out of sugar. Did I drop that in here somewhere by mistake? Yeah, I did. Derp. Hey, technically sugar's a mob drop. Technically, if you count witches, it's a mob drop. So this should, in theory, fully automate my mob farm. So let's step away for a minute and see what happens, right? So I'm gonna clear out this chest, make sure it's nice and empty. Uh, and we're gonna go stand further away and see if mobs spawn in there. And what we should see is shortly a mob spawning in there, uh, followed by him being pushed into the spikes, receiving damage, and his drops going into the chest. Now this is not um, perfect. The problem is that chest is gonna fill up so fast because uh, there's just so many mob drops that happen. I mean, it's a double chest, so that's good. I mean, I could upgrade it uh, to be like an iron or some kind of chest, because I have quests to do that anyway. Um, but an iron chest is basically a double chest, right? So until we get to like gold chests, meh. Um, so at this point, mobs should be spawning. And do, do, there's one. Let's go see what happens to him. See, he's receiving damage, his items drop, and maybe he just didn't drop anything. Is that just bad luck, or did the items get stuck in there somewhere? I don't see any items, so maybe it was just bad luck that he didn't drop anything. Thanks for being a bad example. These skeletons. Creeper! I like creepers, because they drop gunpowder, which uh, is one of the more useful of mob drops. Stone spikes do cause things to drop items, right? They don't just like kill things and there's no item drop. I imagine it would tell me something along those lines. Maybe they need to be upgraded. I mean, I, I imagine stone spikes are fine. Right? I mean, there's no, there's nothing on there that says it won't drop items. Let's come back in a minute and see what happens. So I totally see mobs dying over there. We'll go check in a minute to see if there's any drops. So there are some mob drops getting stuck, but there's definitely some mob drops showing up in the chest. So I'm gonna rotate this just a little bit. Cause what happens is if, if the, the, the spikes are just misbehaving a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is direct you. Uh, where did you go? Probably into here? Maybe into there? Maybe not into there. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna direct that items go this way so that if they fall, 
that way they'll go into the hopper. So that should prevent items from getting stuck in any way, shape, or form, um, in theory. Sweet, I like it. So now we have uh, item collection of stuff, right? We can just throw items in here to demonstrate that it's kind of working. All these items should make their way. Yeah, you're just not gonna behave for me, are you? Let's just put away this, this, any other tools that are on me right now, quote unquote tools. I probably don't need any more stone spikes right now. And if I need them, it's stone so I can make any more I want. Kind of got a feather though, that's exciting. Wood, I have enough wood. Sweet. And this, I don't really need either on me so that I can therefore of course, I'm going to want to break all these things with this. These were kind of temporary. Awesome. So that's an automated mob farm system, somewhat automated at least. Uh, and we'll just come back over here every now and then and collect from it uh, until at least we can get a better way of sorting and dealing with the drops that those things generate. But for now, it'll do, right? And and that's cool by me. All right, let me clean up my inventory real quick and we'll be right back. Hey guys, exciting news. Look what I got. Animals. You've got a little pig. Hello, sir. And a cow. Nice. All right, so uh, passive mob, uh, animal spawns is, uh, is doing its job. That's cool. Let's get three of those cooking and I'm gonna make some more uh, blocks of charcoal. I didn't think you would be so easy that you'd be on the first page. Nice. That'll do for now. So three more of these dudes. And the rest can go in here for later usage. And this and this has been accumulating. Do I hear a pig that sounds closer than... I do. Hello. Hello, pig. How'd you get out there? I know how you got out there. Uh, do I have access to a golden lasso? Probably... No. Uh, what else can I do to pick you up, piggy? I would like to put you where you belong. Ah, shift right click. <laughs> Works like a charm. Sweet. That'll do. What does it look like as I'm carrying this pig around? Oh my goodness, I'm covered in ice. Why am I covered in ice? Is that because I was carrying a pig? This mod pack has some funny functionality, but I like it. All right, so uh, Batania? Yeah, Batania. So we've got automated mob farm, which I'm like super hyped about, you guys have no idea. Uh, so let's get back to Batania for a little bit and see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. Um, let's real quick just review the quest book. So um, we're good on this automation thing, right? Golden and diamond spikes might happen later. Bag opener, um, I presume opens loot bags. Sounds like a good time, but we're gonna hold off. Bonsai plants, uh, hopping bonsai pots, yeah, maybe we'll see. Um, there might be some things that we want to get for that, uh, but we'll see. Snad, I completed the quest for, but Soul Snad uh, would be, I presume, for growing Nether Wart. Uh, I guess we could do that real quick just to knock it out. Does that sound cool? See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Enderman. Evil Enderman. So Soul Snad is for Soul Sand. And refresh my memory on making Soul Sand. Um... It's frozen sandy nether. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so sand, nether reward. We, another rack. Can I use red sand for that, you think? Think it looks up to red sand? I guess it does. Sweet. Oh no, I had sand on me. Never mind. Ha! Totally didn't see it there. Uh, maybe I'll make another set of you. Uh, you, to you, to you, to you. Maybe I should look at making that better freezer, too. Uh, what was involved in making that? I think it was just a little bit of iron, right? It was in the basic resources. Let it go. Frozen iron ingots. Uh, you want me to make two iron freezers. Uh, iron freezers require... So I need 16 of them. 
Uh, I could probably borrow 16 iron. Can I throw all of this into the freezer at once? As I recall, the way this freezer works is the more items you put in there, the longer it takes to freeze the entire stack. So that might take a little bit. Uh, I'm going to throw my sandy another rack in here for the time being, and we'll come back and check on this guy in a little bit. Um, but hey, other Enderman. Well, oh, that works. See you later. Hey, eat. Thank you. <laughs> I got another one of those infinity booster cards. I think I've got enough of these that I can just toss you, right? I, I put whatever I had away. Uh, so quest book. So we'll look at doing um, this, the frozen snad and the iron freezer in a little bit. There's probably a few other quests we could probably look at. Sluice box. You can crush ores on the crushing table to obtain chunky rocks, which can be used on a sluice box with water for doubling the amount of ingots you get and for a chance of getting a different extra metal. Really? That's if you have ores, though. You can crush ores on a crushing table to obtain rocky chunks. I don't think I have access to ores, though, right? So I don't understand that. Unless there's, like, something I don't know about making ores. Oh, I can do that. Condenser, huh? Huh. Interesting. Not sure if necessary. Uh, we'll come back to that one. Let's let's stick with Batania for now, right? So 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 basic tinkering, uh, mystical flowers. That's where we were at. So the next uh, set of progress, I definitely wanted to make the elemental rods. Um, we wanted to get into a runic altar. That's probably like the most obvious next step, right? So let's do that. Runic altar. I presume that's just yep a mana diamond, boom, which we already have, and five of you. So this should be a already done and completed quest. Ding ding, hooray! Lantern of Paranoia. Places torches in unlit areas automatically. That's cool. That sounds neat. That sounds nifty. Do you need to be in my hand or what? So there's an unlit area there. Can you place the torch? Because that would be cool. Maybe it has to be, it might have to be, like, actually dark. As in, like, literally actually dark. Like, nighttime. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll keep it on my character and play with it later. Uh, so you're going to wind up being here, of all things. Uh, and we're going to need another spreader, which is going to be a handful of you. And let's pick, yeah, why not? Spreader. Cool. Mm. And that should be good. Uh, and you and you are full and you're doing your thing. Uh, so that's quest complete on that guy. Let's get uh, elemental rune. So you want water, fire, earth, and air. That shouldn't be a problem for most of these. Uh, we're going to need more iron uh, and probably some gunpowder while we're at it to get uh, the appropriate stuff. And then uh, for water, it's a fishing rod, right? So some of you and some of you. Rune of water, fishing rod, sugarcane, and bone meal. Right, so that's easy. So that's so let's let's prep all three of these guys all at once. So sugarcane, I'll get one of them over there. Fire is going to need nether wart, gunpowder, and another brick. So that should be a problem. You guys are almost done with another stack of smooth stone. Beautiful. Another wart. While well, I'm waiting for that, so that'll be you. Gunpowder and. I know I need string for one of these and carpet maybe too, so that'll help. So you can be that guy. Um, I'm gonna put away some tools for a sec. You're ready to go? Nice. Wasting charcoal. I know. Terrible person. I'm actually gonna get more charcoal uh, out of a lot of these things because I've got so much wood sitting around. Okay, so that's these three, right? So let's put these here. So this will be my rune of fire. This will be my rune of water. Rune of air is string and carpet and a feather, which uh, feathers I haven't gotten a lot of. I th think this doesn't seem to be stuck behind any kind of system. 
Just looking to see, because I have like literally one feather. Not not the end of the world, right? Fluffy Puff from Silent Gems. Yu Yu Matter can make it. Chicken Essence can make it. Um, otherwise, it's probably just waiting for chickens to spawn and breeding them. That would be my guess. Or ground traps, right? Grain, grain bait. That seems reasonable. I think it's literally called trap, right, in Pam's? Uh... Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. This thing's a restricted item. So I can't I can't do traps yet. Oh, well. Uh, and then string and carpet, right? So we need to do... So we'll just bring this with us over there. Uh, but that'll be our rune of air. Right? String, feather, carpet. And then earth is mushroom, stone, and coal block? Yeah. So mushroom, stone, and coal block. So we've got smooth stone, no problem. Mushrooms, uh, that's a question that I don't have an answer to. Let's see. I'm guessing there's some kind of this method. Right, cocoa beans onto tall grass will get me a mushroom. I have some cocoa beans, but not a ton. Where can I get more of those from? I can transmute it from pumpkin seeds. That's an option. But there is also the bonsai tree. So the jungle sapling uh, can do this for me. which I might have gotten from loot bags somewhere. Would have been cool if I had a jungle sapling. I doubt that I have a jungle sapling. I think I can fish up jungle saplings. Did I happen to, I fished up Akashia saplings. Pretty sure I can fish up jungle saplings. Wasn't that one of the quests in basic resources was to find a jungle sapling? Yeah, so I can either uh, transmuted, I think, with the right-click thingy, this. But I need 10 cocoa beans for that. And right now, I don't have a whole lot of cocoa beans, I don't think. Unless I'm wrong, but I might have gotten some. I've got two. So let's try and fish up a jungle sapling. And if I get that, I can put it in a bonsai plant, and I'll make a hopping bonsai plant that can automatically continuously make the cocoa beans, and that'll be nice to have. So uh, let's fish for a few minutes off camera. So I've got the regular fishing rod, but I want to use... Uh, the survivalist's fishing rod, because obvious reasons. So back in a minute, see you then. Dude, you guys wouldn't believe it. Literally, the very first thing that I pulled up was a jungle sapling. Not kidding at all. Literally, the very first thing that I pulled up was a jungle sapling. That is awesome. Um, so let's make, I believe I can make the hopping bonsai plant now, right? So this is just bricks with dirt. I might have, I have clay. We can get more of it. Ordering gun, wrong thing. Do, 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 do. Literally the first thing that I fished up. Like not even kidding a little bit. I, I can't believe it. I mean, the chances of that are just, I don't know what the chances are, but I, I like I like my chances. Um, so let's get some of you, let's get some of you, let's get some of you, right? Um, and that should get me the bonsai plant, and the hopping one just needs a hopper under it. So let's get uh, a chest real quick with the hopper. Right, and uh, what we'll probably wind up doing is putting... I could turn you into a hopping bonsai plant too, but I don't know that I need things that badly. I'd rather hold on to my iron for now. Uh, that should be fine. So three bricks. And this will just take a period of time, which is, you know, kind of a bummer, but it's all good. Four. And it was a piece of dirt, right? Yeah, bonsai plants aren't the fastest, but it'll definitely be like a passive generation of both wood, saplings, and, and other things, right? So that'll be fine. So in theory, I do this. I put it on top of the appropriate inventory. I stick the sapling in it, and then it should just grow, which as you can see is faster than the slime one, right? That's definitely faster than the slime one. So I wonder if they have like different growth speeds for different types of plants. That's interesting, because that definitely feels faster than this one. Let's let's test if I'm right about that even. Right, so we could uh, wait for that to finish growing. It should just immediately drop its resources in the chest below and then proceed to make another tree, which is kind of cool. And right, I might be imagining that it's faster thing, but we'll find out in a sec. 
right? So we'll let them both grow and we'll see if I'm crazy or not about them being faster. This thing seems like it's growing faster, but it might just be my imagination. But doesn't it seem faster? It seems faster. It's so cool, the animation on it, too. Like, I love the appearance of it. Um, yeah, it totally seems faster, doesn't it? And I could make this a hopping, like I said, but I don't need it. Yeah, totally faster. Totally faster. I mean, almost twice as fast, I feel like. So that's interesting. That is very interesting. There's no there's no stats on these things, so I, I wonder... It must be something about the sapling itself. Maybe slime saplings inherently take longer to grow, so, like, the bonsai plant thing is respecting that? I don't know. But, yeah, it's literally twice... We're getting two jungle drops per slime drop here. Look. Boom. It just finished. It is literally exactly twice. So that's neat. All right, cool. So we'll let that go. Real quick, let's peek over here, see what's going on. How you guys doing? Nice. Everything's behaving itself? Uh, a few things are going into here, which is probably not the end of the world. Um, not the end of the world by any stretch. But uh, let's prevent that. from accidentally happening. Oh, because you're different blocks. Interesting. So I can't mix half slabs. Today I learned. Huh, this isn't chisel and bits, who'd have thunk? Let's get some acacia wood. Acacia. Ac 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 acacia. I know. So that should now prevent what we just saw happen. Why do I keep hearing like a breaking noise over here? Anybody else hearing that? Seems weird. I blame Enderman. Right? Did we just hear it again? All right, any, not yet. And I don't suppose there's any like bone meal. Oh yeah, I can bone meal you, hello. Today we learned. That's cool. That is super cool. How about how about this stuff? Uh, this stuff. Nice. That is beautiful, my friends. Uh, the bummer is that it doesn't seem to actually be producing the stuff. Uh, let's give it uh, a few more minutes here. Balance grid, rotate grid, clear grid. We'll do that, and that should give me all these. It takes a second to craft large stacks in this for whatever reason. But hopefully this will get me cocoa beans. Come on. At least if I see one, I'll be happy. So I'm burning a stack of this stuff. Let's see how many cocoa beans we get for one stack. We got zero cocoa beans. Come on. You're supposed to be giving me cocoa beans. So this doesn't say cocoa beans. Jungle sapling, unknown genome. Does that have to be a forestry jungle sapling? Does it have to be a forestry jungle sapling? How could I convert these? Don't I just have to scan it? Some kind of scanner? Trealizer or something like that. I probably it's probably gated, probably gated. Um, behind something, and even if it wasn't, I'm sure it requires bronze, which I don't have access to yet either. Like B Elizer is probably gated too. So that's a bummer. That's not working as much as I had hoped it would. Different types of jungle saplings we learned today. All right. Um, so you know what I can do though. Hold on. What I can do is just do like this, right? I was hoping that would be like a nice automated way to get cocoa beans, but this should work too, right? I could just um, stick some random this here, right? I guess I can't. Okay, this works, right? 
Yeah, this will do. I'll take it. Alright, so that works. What was I making these for? What was I talking about again? Mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms. Hopefully not a stupid amount of health required. Six. That's fine. I have six health. Cool. I know what I'm doing. Promise. I don't promise. Uh, so maybe get... Just because I'm here. Um... That should be enough to get stuff. So we're going to come over to you. Boom. And then I'm going to... Mushroom! We're learning, guys. So making that jungle sapling absolutely helped, right? It didn't hurt. It didn't waste time. Uh, it just didn't automate the way I'd hoped it would. But that's okay. We have, we have an alternative measure for automation. Wow, you really bone milled the whole shebang, didn't you? Sorry. No flowers for you, pigs. Okay. So we'll put away coffee seeds and pumpkin seeds and anything else that we have in here that we probably don't need right now. Everything's a mess in my inventory because I was making a big mess doing all the things, but... Let's put you and you down so that clears that up. And let's get back to what we were working on, which is putting this stuff away. I'll hang on to a little bit of you. You're, you're, you're nice to have. Uh, but now we have a mushroom. Beautiful. Um, can mushrooms go into hopping bonsai plants by chance? That would be kind of cool. Uh, it can make infestation spores, though, that makes mycelium. So that's good to know. So mushrooms at this point are not hard to get, so I don't need to farm them. I can just, you know, do that and keep that going. Uh, but with that said, uh, now I need coal, a coal block. I don't know if I have, I have one piece of coal, um, which comes from blowing something up. Charcoal. Okay. So easy enough. Oh, right. You probably should not be that. Are we hearing that weird breaking noise again? Every time I'm listening for it, I don't hear it anymore. That's driving me nuts. Beautiful. Oh, you didn't have enough? Okay. Now we're talking. So block of coal. So that's going to be your stone. So stone, um, right, earth, air, fire, water just needs, um, water just needs, water, rune, water, 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 bone meal. That's right. I put all my bone meal away because I was using it for stuff and things. And then a piece of sugar cane. Now we should be able to make all four runes. Yes? Yes. So let's do it. Uh, let's do six of you real quick. And let's do... Cool. And then you can be one, two, one, two, three. And then you need living rock four of you and this should get me all four of the tier one runes which i can use to make that stone wand thingy that makes dirt which i'm super hyped about um so you go down and you do that cool so one you're gonna go uh we'll put the excess carpet up here because you're gonna be nice to have i want a mana tablet at some point and that's just gonna require this guy i want to make him with eight of you because I'm going to need him anyway, and that'll be just nice to have. One, two, right? And then one, two, three. This will be the stone one. See how nice it is to come prepared? Bone meal and... Where'd my sugar... Oh, there it is. What happened to... What, did I, what was I keeping on number three? Torches. Torches. Am I out of torches? I guess I am. That's funny. Uh, back to you. I guess I am. Hey! What? We got a horse! We got... Energetic sheep. 
from the Energetic Sheep mod. That's interesting. No idea what that is. No, I never even... <laughs> I'm sorry, whoever the author of Energetic Sheep is. I don't think I've heard of that mod. Or if I have, I forgot about it. Which is also something that happens. So... And in theory, we have like a quarter of a mana pool still. So that's awesome. Sweet. So is that a da ding? Ding ding. Yay. Nice. Mystical flowers progress today, guys. Zoea. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of having these weird blocks. They're just getting voided now. All right. So that's cool. That unlocks all kinds of good stuff. Uh, personal mana storage is required. Didn't I just get a mana tablet? What? Uh, do what now? Where's personal mana storage at? Mana Blaster. Requires personal mana storage. Personal mana storage. Seasonal runes. Those are the next tier of runes. Uh, Rosa Arcana. Uses the experience of the player that's standing on top of it to generate mana. Okay. I mean, I probably have a decent amount of experience. I almost never die in this pack. Uh, so that's cool. Where's personal storage, though? Because apparently you need that. And I'm not seeing personal... Mana storage. Am I crazy? Or am I just not seeing it? Botanical Brewery. Mana Blaster. Oh, personal mana storage. There it is. Uh, oh, okay. You want me to have a band of mana? Uh, I could do that. Band of mana. Uh, which is just four of you. Do, 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 do. Uh, personal mana storage. So that should be as easy as right-clicking. And that takes away... Um, do I really have one ring slot for bobbles? I'm not really jumping in lava all that often. So I'm going to hold off on that. But let's claim this quest. <laughs> Another Lantern of Paranoia. Loot bags are trolly today, aren't they? I'm just going to avoid it because I already have one. Um, and I assume it's not... Oh, you know what? It is placing torches automatically in unlit areas. So maybe that's part of the problem with my torches disappearing? I guess that was kind of working like it was intended to. Uh, so I can, in theory, drop you on here. And you're in tablet, so you want you to be in that mode. I don't want to drain all my mana, but like an eighth of a pool sounds like a good amount. That should be good. And that's a decent amount of mana for me. Cool. And now I should be able to make the Rod of the Lands, right? So you want me to make all of the rods? Wow, that's a lot of rods. But guess what I'm going to do first? Yeah, you guessed it. Rod of the Lands. Needs a Rune of Earth, a Living Wood Twig, and a piece of dirt. Do, 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 do. I'm excited for this. Can you guys tell how excited I am for this? Uh, that should be literally as easy as now going to get some Living Wood. And Bob's your uncle. Whatever that means. Cool. Uh, hello, Infinite Dirt. Let's see how much this uses, right? Like, there's not really... So, I don't think it uses a lot of mana. Yeah, like an insignificant amount of mana is used right there, right? You can see it on my bar, right? Dudes. That's what's up. That is what's up. That is just Infinite Dirt for what is essentially free. It's as close to free as you can get. Uh, I will take it all day long. I love it. Uh, that's cool. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, is there any other like really good rods to have? Um, I don't think there's anything that's like super useful. And, 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 like, in a, in a, like this one makes water. This one lets you fly a little bit, sort of. It's more like a burst in a certain direction. I think this like hurts things. I think this smelts things. I forget what you do. Rod of the Depths. Do you make cobblestone? I think you do. Um, isn't there a way to look it up in the Lexica Batania? Do I even have a Lexica Batania? I don't know. Come right back. So we are well past the wrapping up point. Uh, however, I want to do something real quick while I'm here. And then we're going to wrap up the episode. Like, we're so far past, I considered splitting this into two episodes, but I figured I'd give you guys a long one. So, uh, hopefully that's okay with you. Why well, you don't want to get placed in the world, Rain Shield? You not like being placed on half slabs? What's your deal? Okay, hello. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. 
Dude, gotta love the rain shield, right? I guess you just don't like being placed on the top of a half slab. Uh, let's go find a nice out of the way location to stick you. Like over here. That works. All right. Wrapping up point by far. Devil 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Lots of progress today. Lots more progress coming up tomorrow or next episode. You know, you know the deal. Uh, for now, uh, take it easy.